the life. Today we have a vinyasa style flow for you. You're going to go ahead and get two blocks and put on something comfortable. Go ahead and start with your feet slightly wider than your hips and we're going to begin doing some hip circles. Hands on your hips. We're going to start by going to the left and around. And then after you've done a few, go ahead and switch directions. It's okay if you look silly, we're just waking up the body. On an inhale, raise both your hands up above your head, grasp your right hand and gently dial over to the right, back to center, dial over to the left. Great job. We're going to work on some dynamic movement. So go ahead and you're just going to kind of let your arms flop to the right and to the left, waking up all of the muscles of our bodies. And on an inhale, hands up and then down through heart center. We're going to go ahead and meet at the top of our mats to begin the flow. Hands open at your side, grounding down, deep breaths into dasana. On an inhale, arms up, exhale, forward fold. Gently bend one knee and then the other, waking up the back of the legs. On an inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold, step it back, down dog. Take your dog for a walk, bend one knee and then the other, and then find some stillness. Breathe deeply. You're welcome to keep the knees bent. And on an inhale, lift your right leg up, three-legged dog, and step it forward. We're going to come into a warrior one. So your right knee is open at a 90 degree angle, arms reaching up to the, towards the sky, and then go ahead and open up warrior two. So your left heel drops down, and then on an inhale, Come back into reverse warrior. Inhale, extended side angle. You can take the full expression or have your elbow to your knee. Straighten both legs. Inhale, reach it back, reverse triangle. Cartwheel your hands down, step it back, down dog. On an inhale, lift your left leg. Exhale, step it forward, warrior one. Arms lifting up. Open up, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle, full expression or elbow on the knee. Inhale, straighten both legs, reverse triangle. And then plant your hands, step it back, down dog. Walk your hands back to meet your feet, forward fold. On an inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise. Exhale, forward fold. On an inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold, and walk your hands out to down dog. We're gonna do that flow again. Go ahead, lift your right leg up, step it through. Come on up to warrior one. Arms up. On an inhale, open up, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, straighten both legs, reverse triangle. And on an inhale, plant your hands, step it back, down dog. Follow this at your own breath and pace. On an inhale, lift your left leg up, Step it through, warrior one. Inhale, open it up, warrior two. Inhale, forward and back, reverse warrior. Inhale, extended side angle, really stretching our side bodies. Inhale, straighten your legs, reach back, reverse triangle. Plant your palms, step it back, down dog. Step your feet up to meet your hands, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise, arms reach up, and exhale, back down to forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. 
Exhale, fold, step it back, down dog. Lift your right leg on an inhale, step it forward, warrior one. Open up, warrior two. On an inhale, go ahead, reach it back, reverse warrior. Extended side angle. Straighten both legs, reverse triangle. Plant the palm, step it back, down dog. Inhale, step the left leg forward, warrior one. Open up, warrior two. Reverse warrior, extended side angle. Straighten both legs, reverse triangle. Plant the palms, step it back, down dog. Go ahead and drop your knees. Take a moment to get some water, readjust. And then we're gonna come into high plank. Breathe deeply. Make sure your heels are popped up, your back is flat. And then we're gonna come into a modified chaturanga, which is like a yogic slow push-up. And then rest down onto your stomach. Come into Sphinx Pose, so make sure your elbows are underneath your shoulders. Your hands are actively open, kind of trying to rip the mat apart. Make sure your shoulder blades are down and away from your neck. Breathe into this. And then go ahead and flip onto your back. Bring your legs up. Make sure that your shins are parallel with the ceiling, and we are going to do some yogi bicycles. You're going to try to do 30 of these. So you want opposite elbow to opposite knee. Make sure that your head and neck are fully supported with your hands. You don't wanna be building your neck muscles here. You wanna be building your abs. Once you've done 30, go ahead, bring your feet back down to the mat and gently windshield wiper them right and left, loosening up the sacrum and the lower back. Then pull your heels into your buttocks. Go ahead and reach for your heels with your hands. Tuck your shoulders underneath your neck and your head. And go ahead and lift your hips up, bridge pose. And set down. We're gonna do some bridge pulses. Up, down, up, down. Don't go fully down, don't let it touch the mat. Just quickly, up, down. Great job, go ahead, pull the knees into your chest, give it a big squeeze. Maybe rock side to side or take circles, whatever feels good for you today. And let's do some more bicycles. Make sure your shins are parallel with the sky or the roof. Go ahead and try to do 30 more bicycles, opposite elbow to opposite knee. Deep breaths, you've got this. Keep going. Ah, oh, great. Relax it down. Go ahead and windshield wiper the knees again. Drop them both to the right and to the left. Go ahead and cross your right foot over your left knee. We're gonna come into a seated figure four, a reclined figure four. Make sure that your right foot is flexed to protect your knee and go ahead and lace your hands behind the back of your left thigh. Pull it in, stretching the hip muscle. You're also welcome to use a strap. Great, both feet back on the mat and let's switch. Go ahead and bring your left foot on top of your right knee. Make sure it's flexed to protect the knee. Lace your fingers behind the back of the right thigh. Pull it in. Breathe into your hip. Great. You're going to let both palms of the feet touch each other and let your knees fall open. Come into a reclined Baddha Konasana. Cobbler's Pose. Take a few deep breaths. Let your hands open at your sides. Tuck your shoulder blades down and underneath your back. Let your breath return to normal. Let everything you just did settle in.
You are welcome to stay in this for the rest of the practice, or you're welcome to come into full Shavasana, whichever works for you today. When you're ready, go ahead and bring your knees back to center, roll to either side, come into the fetal position, and then push yourself up into a seated position. Thank you so much for joining me for today's practice. On an inhale, go ahead, raise your arms up, exhale, down through heart center. If you'd like, raise your thumbs to your third eye. The light in me bows and honors to the light in you. Namaste.